The United Nations report says that globally each woman is having an average of two children, but the African woman is having almost twice that number. Currently the average woman is having around two and a half children over her lifetime, but this number varies widely around the world. Africa has the highest fertility level with around 4.7 children per woman. Even assuming a continued decline in fertility, given this high starting point, we should anticipate a continued rapid growth of the African population, which will roughly double in size between now and 2050. UN projects that the world's population will grow to 8.5 billion by 2030, 9.7 billion by 2050, and 11.2 billion by 2100. Africa's population is projected to grow from the current 1.16 billion to 4.1 billion by 2100. Trends in individual countries tend to fluctuate, but we anticipate that substantial levels of international migration will continue in the future and that migration will continue to be the leading force of population change for some countries in future decades. At present, China and India remain the most populous countries in the world, each with more than one billion people, representing 19 and 18 percent of the world's population respectively. But by 2022, the population of India is expected to surpass that of China, according to the report's projection. Future population trends will be affected by trajectories in the three major components of population change, fertility, mortality and migration. Uh, but especially by the future course of fertility. The UN estimates that there has been an average annual net flow of 4.1 million migrants moving from low or middle income countries to high income countries. In contrast to the growth projections, a significant aging of the population in the next several decades is projected for most regions, like Europe, where 34% of the population is projected to be over 60 years old by 2050. Catherine Ogunde, CCTV.